Okay, here we are. This is, uh, oh, what is it, uh, June 22nd, 2015. This is my Land Rover Discovery 2 that I'm messing with for the last year and a half. Um, the Rover engine was, uh, I guess as all Rover engines are, are j totally junk. Here's the one that's sitting here with, uh, obviously, uh, broken block, and uh, which is typical because... Uh, um, they didn't know how to manufacture an engine properly or I think they did but they just decided not to but anyway the, the vehicle itself is a pretty good vehicle so I kind of like it so I decided to put a Chevy engine in it this is the uh, it's called a 4.3 liter V8 it's a I guess a mini version of an LT1 they put them in the wide body Chevys uh, the big wide body Caprice classics from 94 to 96 but uh, since the uh, Rover's engine was 4 liter uh, 4.0 I wanted to get something close to the displacement and uh, it was either I was going to do like a Ford 302 cubic inch or or, uh, or a Mercedes uh, 430 but I decided to go ahead with the uh, Chevy I found one of these at a um, uh, uh, for sale used the engine and of course somebody boasted about how low miles it had on it somewhere in the 30s but I did a Carfax on it and sure enough that uh, uh, that's what it worked out to be. So what I did is I put the LT1, well, mini LT1, let's call it, into the Rover. But as you see on the uh, left side of the engine, which would be the driver's side, I'm incorporating the pumps. Uh, this is that, uh, ant that traction uh, device that keeps the, the vehicle from tipping and going around curves. And I, I, I logged, liked the uh, video on YouTube I saw on it. So uh, I decided to incorporate that and keep that. And of course, down below that is the uh, uh, power steering pump for the Land Rover. The nice thing about this engine, and one of the main reasons I picked it is because all the accessories are on this, on the right side, or the passenger side of the engine. You got at the top, there's a, um, uh, the alternator in the middle is a pulley, uh, and uh, at the bottom there's the air conditioning compressor, and of course you have the harmonic balancer here, which uh, mine looks a little funky because uh, to uh, incorporate a crank sensor, I bought a, uh, a wheel, one of those timing wheels. And if you look at the, uh, uh, this is actually the crank sensor from the Land Rover that came out of the back of the, uh, um, the engine of the uh, uh, Land Rover. Anyhow, but this is it. I, I did get a, uh, 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 what I did is I fool, I'm trying to fool the Land Rover into thinking that it's got a Land Rover engine. So the way I did that is I uh, used the fuel system and tied that directly into the injectors of the Chevy engine. And over here, this is the, uh, the ignition module and normally that's behind, in the middle behind the Rover engine, which is a real bitch to get to, but anyway, so I think I'd prefer it here anyway. So if you see the white wire here, it means I I extended the lines over and I use a lot of white wire because uh, I got a lot of aviation wire in my hanger here so uh, the um, but that's the module and I, I uh, made up these uh, uh, made them up myself with a kit the, the wires uh, that go to the you know both sides on this side the header is pretty close to the header the uh, uh, or the exhaust system um, and what I did is if you see these uh, white th little booties here the uh, they're supposed to be uh, keep it from uh, getting uh, uh, too hot the, the wires on the other side I didn't have that issue because they come straight out and uh, um, anyhow uh, and I tied in the exhaust meanwhile with a um, uh, I don't think I could see it but yeah you can see a little bit of it I tied it in with uh, I'm gonna put the camera down here's my cell phone camera uh, I tied it in yeah you can see something there you see that uh, 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 flex tubing there and that's going to be temporary actually here's it on this side too um, uh, that's going to be temporary because I'm going to have uh, some custom benders make you know do it right because it's, it's like three thirty inches of it on each side where I cut off the uh, the rovers pipes and uh, anyhow uh, there's a few other things to do I've got the crank sensor in there I got the uh, uh, the thing is I got to use two manuals you know, sir, uh, uh, service manuals to figure out the color coding because there's your temperature sensor on the uh, water temperature sensor on the uh, Chevy 
And I'm going to tie that in, of course, to wiring uh, that uh, the temperature sensor on the rover. So where you see the red and the black, that basically was to help me differentiate between what I was doing. And I still have a few things I need to hook up because the next is the uh, air conditioning compressor and the belt. I'm going to put a pulley system right here and actually have a belt that goes uh, in, in one belt that drives everything. But like this here is a uh, canister uh, solenoid. I got to tie that in. I have to tie this. Uh, what the heck is this? I label everything. Uh, manifold absolute uh, pressure sensor. Yeah. Okay. And um, and this here goes to uh, this is the idler idle air control valve. Okay. Which uh, I'm, I got to look up that stuff. But the thing should run without it. I tied in the uh, I tied in the uh, throttle cable by butting it up and using some shrink tubing here, so uh, so that that seems to, should to work okay. So uh, and so I still got a lot of uh, little stuff to do, but you know, and then of course the cooling system, which I'm going to use the Chevy cooling system, Chevy electric radiator. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, electric fans, but the radiator from the rover. So right now I got the front end apart. And I'm using, of course, that's the uh, transmission cooling line. So uh, let's uh, let's go to the car and give it a uh, fired up. And uh, I can only run it for a few seconds because there's no water. And uh, uh, here goes. I'm going to close the door because the rear shocks will pump up with the water. Uh, and I'll lower a window here. Let me lower a window. Windows down. I'm going to try to hold this outside here so it can be seen while I crank it. Here it goes. Ready? Well, no, uh, uh, I'm getting gassed here, so I'm going to go outside my hangar for a second here and uh, get some fresh air. Even though I got the back end of this thing stuck out, it's still gassy. Anyway, that's it. Uh, and for the guy who sent an auto, the automotive engineer, it said I'd never get it to run. Well, um, you know, that's your secret. Bye.